All right, y'all. My homeboy, Kevin Kirby, out of Virginia, was having a family reunion. And he said, Josh, I want to invite you. I said, Kirby, I ain't going to no family reunion throwing by no white folks because I'm a black dude. And I'm going to mess the whole party up. He said, Josh, just come to the family reunion. And I went to the family reunion. And because I went to the family reunion, thrown by my Caucasian friends, I came back with five things to tell you. You probably should know before saying yes to a white family reunion. Five. Number one, white people do not spend their money on getting the same t-shirt. Now, every time a black person has any kind of event, barbecue, 4th of July, funeral, family reunion, wedding celebration, divorce party, we gonna buy a shirt. You gonna get that text message. Hey, you gotta donate your $10, put your $15 in there. I walked into this family reunion, I'm like, Kirby, how do we know who related to each other? How do we know we all family? He said, you don't, you just assume. Everybody's related. Ain't no kissing cousins, ain't no hugging too tight. But Kirby, why everybody don't got the same shirt on? Josh, do you know how much money we can save if we don't go buy stupid t-shirts? Who would do that? <laughs> I don't know who would just go spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the t-shirt we're going to wear once a year if I never wear again. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Next year, we ain't buying no shirts, okay? We're going to save that money. We're going to put some more meat on the grill, okay, mom? Number two, white people don't stop cooking. And so at the black family reunions I've been involved to, the Hispanic barbecues I went to, cooking stops at one point and everybody eat. When I went to this family reunion, they would not stop putting meat on the grill. They would not stop bringing food out of trucks. I was like, Kirby, all the food is already here. So like, nah, Josh. Hey, Kirby, when we gonna start cooking? You don't never stop cooking, but what about when the party's over? Somebody is over there when all the food is cooking and all the food is ate. Somebody is over here boiling crabs. Who want crab? I don't want crabs. Who want hot dogs? I don't want hot dogs. Who want to drink some lake water that I just purified? on him because I'm smart. I, I'm damn. Brain never had no late water from Virginia. Now, I'm, we ain't gonna die nothing like this. Ain't the Dominican Republic, but I want some of that late water. White people will cook until the last person leave. I don't know if they think we ain't got no food at home. I don't know if they don't want to go home. I don't know if cooking is really their thing. But white folks will cook and barbecue until the last bit of Adam and every bit of rib is gone. Number three, there will be a cousin that could have went to the NBA, NFL, or MLB, but they definitely wanted to be a pharmacist, so they didn't go. Now, Kevin introduced me to this cousin named Wilson. I should have known by the way his hand grip was that it was going to be out of control athleticism flowing through his body. When Wilson started talking, he told me, yeah, I played at the University of Virginia. I also could have made the basketball team and, and a major league team wanted to sign. I'm like, nah, you didn't. When they threw Wilson the ball because it seemed like it was set up for this conversation to happen and for him to prove to the one black guy that he's more athletic than me, when they threw him a baseball, he threw the ball back and it kind of reminded you of rookie of the year. You remember when that boy broke his shoulder and he was playing for the Chicago Cubs and he was throwing real fast? I was like, Wilson, why didn't you go to the MLB? You could have made millions of dollars. He was like, Josh, I want to stay in this town and change lives by being a pharmacy tech at CVS. You know what? Whatever dope and drugs y'all smoking, I want some of that because ain't no way in hell I'm say, you know what, Wilson? Do that, do that shoulder thing again. How do how do you? You know what? That's that that don't hurt when you, okay. Number four. You are going to run into somebody, mama, who is 50 and fine. When I go to any event, I try to be professional and as nice and cordial as possible because I don't want nobody jumping on me. I don't want nobody getting upset and saying I'm trying to talk to anybody they talk to. But, bruh, every single mama out there was fine. And they all smell like Chanel perfume. Every single one. I don't know if they wait till they get 50 to be fine. I don't know if they go put on the best maxi dress to be fine. I don't know if they get their toes and their nails done the same way because they know Josh Prez in the toes and nails. I don't know if matte lipstick was all around the party. But I'm telling you right now, I ain't had no problem being the youngest stepdaddy on earth because everybody smelled like rooms to go furniture and Chanel. I would have laid it down and ate all the raisins and the potato salad that they was going to feed me, man. And hummus. Feed me hummus off a spoon. Damn, Kirby, your auntie Miss Sally was so fine, but Miss Sally, if you see this video, Josh Pray will come back to Virginia and nobody got to know. Nobody. And number five, white people got family drama too. <laughs> now, I will be the first to admit, black people, when it goes down, it goes down, parties get shut down, police get called, bruh. We was out here in these woods, and somebody said something about loaning a car in 1972 and messing up somebody's car. When that happened, arguments start happening. I'm like, wait. 
Wait, y'all mean to tell me white people out here fight too? Y'all finna beef hard? And then Curve was like, yeah, they've been beefing since like 1973 over a car and over a girl. Which girl? I hope it ain't the 50-year-old girl that I've been eyeing because I can't beat your granddad because your granddad told me that he a Marine. Now, I hit him in his throat, but your granddad might walk that off. And while he walking that off, I see food getting thrown. Like, y'all throwing all this food? So now it's a food fight, and I ain't know it's going to go down like this. And I'm looking for Wilson because I want to hide behind Wilson because if anybody get cut, he'll pharmacy take it. He can provide me wet medicine. But I found out that that was Wilson daddy who messed with such a such mama who ruined such and such car. Bruh, it goes down at white family reunions. But you know what? I can't wait to go to like two or three more because y'all get our free food, y'all save money on t-shirts, and y'all got medical people all around you, and somebody mama might get took down next time. I ain't get out of your head. You're gonna hear what I say. Gonna give it to you straight. Just like Josh Pratt I won't get out of your head 